In this episode, we are going to look at determinants of higher order matrix. What do we mean by higher order matrix? So here we are going to refer to matrix of the order 3 by 3. We have higher order 4 by 4. In the previous episode, we talked about determinant of 2 by 2. So higher order where we have 3 members on or 3 by 3 matrix. How do we find its determinant? So in this case, let's assume we have a matrix D where we have A as its members. So these are the members for the matrix. We are considering a 3 by 3 matrix this way. So here we have 3 unknowns. If we are to go by the principal diagonal approach, we have 3 unknowns which are x1, x2 and x3. So the 2 by 2 approach will not work here. So we have to now find a way to determine the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. What do we do? First of all, we are going to assign a plus, a negative, a plus to this members. So we are starting from the first one. This is a plus, a negative, and a positive. The same way this is a positive, negative positive pay attention so if here is negative this will be in order positive negative positive negative and this will be positive so it always starts from a positive from the first element are we okay so now that we have the elements and we know the sign attached to them this is how we are going to find the determinant of d so here Delta of D, as we always write, is going to be pay attention. It's either you are going to pick one row or one column. Any of them will work. You stick to one. Either you pick a row or a column to do your analysis. So in this situation, I'm going to pick a column, the first column, to do the analysis, and you will see. So here, I will pick the first column element which is a11 and it is positive so it remains positive once you pick the first element you are going to neglect all the element on that row and that column so meaning you are going to get another two by two sub matrix here can you see that so this is going to multiply the two by two matrix left remember you cancel everything on that row everything on that column where you pick the first member so leaving this as a two two forget about the signs when you are writing the sub matrix a two three and we have this as a three two and this will be a two or this is a three three for that now we are going to pick the next element which is i'm going by the column approach so this is a negative a21 after picking you cancel all the members on that row and on that column we'll be left with this member which is a12 and this a13 a13 we also have this A32 and that, which is A33 as the members. You only consider the sign positive, negative, when you are choosing the one to multiply the sub matrix. Are we okay? So these are sub matrices. So the last one, which is going to be a positive a31 and the sub matrix after cancelling everything on the row and the column is going to be that 
and that will be A12, A13, and we also have A22 and A23. So now we have that by using this column. You can also use this row and do the same thing, it will work. But I'm sticking to the column approach. So now you can find the determinant of this sub matrix, which is now 2 by 2. And everything you get, multiply by this value. Everything you get, you multiply. So later, you can do your addition and your subtraction to get a single value. Let's look at this. So this is the formula and the approach. Once you understand, you can just start straight forward. So let's evaluate example. Evaluate delta D such that let's take our D equal to this matrix. Three, two, one. We have two, one, negative three. We have four. 0, 1. We are to evaluate this 3 by 3 matrix, the delta determinant. So, solution. We are now going to use this approach to find the delta. So, delta of D, that is going to be, I'm going to consider this column. You can pause the video and try using the row approach and see, we'll all get the same answer. So, so using the first column, we assign the sign, this is a plus, this is a negative, this is a plus. Are we okay? So I'll pick the first one, which is positive three. And with that, I'll cancel everything on that row, that column, leaving this sub matrix, one, negative, three, zero, one, as a sub matrix. So I'll pick the negative two, cancel everything on the row and the column, that will be, So that will be 2, 1, and we also have 0, 1. I'll pick this plus 4, and the sub matrix is going to be 2, 1, 1, negative 3, as that. So now I can find, continuing with this 3. So what is the determinant for this? 2 by 2 matrix, we know how to go by it. That will be the major diagonal minus the minor diagonal. So 1 by 1, that will be 1. Minus negative 3 by 0, that will be 0. So here minus 2. Determinant of this 2 by 1, that will be 2. 0 by this minus 0 plus this 4. So that will be 4 by 2 by negative 3. That will be negative 6 minus 1 by 1, 1. So you can further reduce this to 3. This will be negative 4 and that will be negative 28. So the determinant of this matrix D is going to be what? 29 negative are you okay so this approach is what we did here you can also consider using the row and it will work we can also consider using a row and it will work so let's see if we can use a particular row for this analysis so i'll consider any of the rule, so I prefer the last row. This row, I prefer to use it. So let's see how we can find it. So delta of D is still going. So this is or another using the row, and that is going to be the first one is a positive four. I'll pick it. The sub matrix will be this two by one, and that'll be one negative three as a sub matrix so this is a negative a positive so negative zero by the sub matrix and 
it is going to be 3, 1, 2, negative 3, plus 1. And the submatrix is going to be 3, 2, negative 2, or this is a negative 2. We are picking this one. So everything here will go and everything here will come. Negative 2, 1. So that will be 4 by negative 6 minus 1. 0 multiplying every determinant here will go to 0. So let's focus on this. This will be plus 1 multiplying 3 by 1, 3 minus this 2 by negative 2. And that is going to be what? negative so this is a positive 2 it is when i was assigning the sign that this negative came so when you are writing the matrices this negative is not coming again so meaning this is a positive 2 so 3 by 1 is 3 minus this 4 and this is going to give us an answer of 4 multiplying negative 7 plus this will be a negative 1. 4 by this, which is negative 28 minus 1, and the answer is negative 29. So it works for any of them. Let's look at example 2. So example 2. We are to find the determinant. Find the determinant that of the matrix. So this is the matrix. We are given a 3 by 3 matrix. 2, 4, negative 3, 5, 7, 6. And we have negative 8, 1, 9. Which way should we take? Now, I will prefer to use the first column. Then you can try for any row. So here, this is always the positive one. Remember not to confuse your assigned signs to the already existing ones. Are you okay? This is a negative 8 already. So when you are assigning the signs to them, pay attention to the signs the members came with. Are we good? All right. So this is positive. I'll pick this as a positive 2. So the delt is going to be a positive 2. And that is going to take this sub matrix 7, 6, 1, 9. The next one to pick will be negative 5. And the sub matrix is going to be 4, negative 3, 1, 9. And I'll pick the next one, which is plus, but this is already negative 8. And its sub matrix is going to be 4, negative 3, 7, 6. So 2, the delta of that. That will be 63 minus 6. So minus 5, 4 by 9, that is going to be 36. This by that negative 3, but minus minus, that will be positive 3. And we can say this is negative because the negative meets the positive 8. 4 by 6, 24 minus another negative 21 that will be plus so when you reduce this further you are going to get 114 minus 195 minus 360 and your determinant for this 3 by 3 matrix is negative 441 are we good so this is the solution for the determinant of this matrix let's check out for the last example 
So let's see example three. Evaluate the determinant. Find the delta of matrix. So we have this matrix five, seven, negative eight, four, negative three, six, one, seven, negative nine. And we have to find the determinant. So here I will prefer to use the rule so that you also get used to the rule approach. So I will use the first rule. So determinant is going to be this 5, which is always positive. Now the sub matrix will be negative 3, 6, and we have 7, negative 9. I will go to the second one, which is negative. The sign will be negative. 7 and the sub matrix will be 4, 6, 1, negative 9. Last, but it's already negative, negative 8. The sub matrix is 4, negative 3, 1, 7. From here, then it becomes simple. This 5 multiplying the delts negative 3 by negative 9 which is 27 minus 6 by 7 which is 42 so minus 7 4 by that negative 36 minus 6 minus this 8 4 by 7 which is 28 minus minus 3 which is plus 3 and when you evaluate this and that you're going to get negative 75 from here and you're going to get plus 2 9 4 from here minus 2 4 8 from this side so the determinant for this matrix is going to be negative 29 it's very simple either the colon or the rule will help you do it. The best thing is you assign the correct signs to them. Thank you for watching this episode. Check out for the next episode.